from the scholars that we benefited from was al-Sheikh al-Wali Ubaid al-Jabiri Habidahullah Ta'ala beautiful city between Maghrib and Isha and again many things were discussed especially the Sheikh he gave me some beautiful advice with regards to da'wah about wisdom when calling to Allah Azza wa Jal likewise the Sheikh emphasized about not getting involved in politics like Sheikh al-Albani used to say min al-siyasati tark al-siyasa Al-Imam Al-Albani used to say, from siyasa, good governing, is that you stay away from politics. Min al-siyasa, tark al-siyasa. And Sheikh Ubaidi emphasized, stay away from siyasa. And he said, one of the reasons why some of the students of knowledge, listen to this, fa'id, that is written in ma'ad-dahab, he said, one of the reasons why some of the students immerse themselves and get involved in politics, Telling you to vote for this one or not vote for that one. And we have to get involved in the political mother arena. And we have to side with the left. Look at what Billah. Who are you to give this type of fatwa? That type of, uh, that type of verdict, you would need scholars. Ulama kibar, jibar. Who said you are able? In your 30s or your 40s. No insight. Mother, no experience. And you, you say, I'm qualified to give these type of rulings. But that's the push now for everyone to side with the left and to align ourselves with the left. Shah Ubaidi said one of the reasons he said is love of this world, the dunya, why some of the students immerse themselves and get involved in politics. And he gave an example of one of those individuals. He said he used to be close to us, but he got involved in politics. And the Sheikh mentioned the hadith of the Prophet wasallam when the Prophet wasallam he said, فَوَاللَّهِ by Allah, مَا الْفَقْرَ أَخْشَ عَلَيْكُمْ I don't fear for you poverty. He mentioned the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. فَوَاللَّهِ مَا الْفَقْرَ أَخْشَ عَلَيْكُمْ The Prophet ﷺ, he said, By Allah, I don't fear for you poverty. I do not fear for you poverty. وَلَكِنْ أَخْشَ أَنْ تُبْسَطَ عَلَيْكُمْ الدُّنْيَا كَمَا بُسِطَتْ عَلَى مَنْ كَانَ قَبْلَكُمْ فَتَنَافَسُوهَا كَمَا تَنَافَسُوهَا فَتُهْلِكُكُمْ كَمَا أَهْلَكَتْهُمْ The Prophet ﷺ, he said, But Allah, I don't fear for you poverty. That's not what I'm scared of for you. Poverty. He said, however, I fear for you. What I'm afraid of is that the beauties of this world is opened up for you, become readily accessible for you. The adornment of this world becomes readily accessible for you. The luxury of this world, it becomes accessible like it became accessible to those who came before you. And they competed with one another as it relates to the luxuries of the dunya. And they were, dest- they, they were destroyed and it will destroy you. May Allah protect us from that. They competed, you will compete concerning it like they competed concerning it. And it will destroy you as it destroyed them. The Sheikh said, one of the reasons why you find some of these students getting involved in siyansa is because of their love of the dunya. May Allah protect us from that.